Thank you to Taskade for sponsoring this video. So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and today we're going to be talking about my top 5 favorite iPadOS widgets that I always keep on my home screen. So without further ado, let me show you exactly what we got going on. So what I wanted to show everybody was, again, my top five widgets that I use on a daily basis and they've been there for a decent amount of time, right? And I use these specifically on the iPad Pro. On my iPhone, I have some different widgets. Some overlap, but these are for my iPad Pro just because I love the attic lands, right? So first off, I always have my home screen widgets always on the home screen dashboard. I have it as always on because you can get rid of them if you really want to. So if you just go here, turn it off, go back, and you can swipe it away and then swipe it back with a finger. But I like to always keep it on. So all you have to do is long press on the numbers or on the time and then change that toggle on. But the first widget has to be Weatherline. So the weather widget for the Apple side has always been pretty good, but there's something about this Weatherline widget that I really like. So first off, it's very clean and because of the name Weatherline, they do everything in kind of like a line graph, an hour by hour line graph to let you know, hey, it's gonna rain in about two hours at 12 p.m. So be prepared to throw on like a rain jacket or something. So I just like the Weatherline widget in general. The one thing that's a little bit iffy is the fact that it still doesn't have a dedicated iPad OS app. So it's all just a double sized version of the iPhone app. But the iPhone app is pretty detailed and I do like everything that it comes with. But again, this is what you get when you do have it on the iPad, especially when you're on landscape mode. So if I get out of here, everything rotates back. So it gives you real time access to weather. I think they refresh every five minutes if you have the pro version of it. So it's very, very detailed, very accurate. And this is what I check every single day before I go walk my dog in the morning. So that is the Weatherline widget app. So let's get into widget number two, classic native Apple widget app. It's just the battery widget. I like having the battery widget to make sure that my all my devices are charged whenever I'm using them. So AirPods always get plugged into here. As you can see, Apple Pencil is charged up, always ready to go because it never leaves that, that spot right there. And then obviously the iPad Pro battery life, but that's a simple one, very self-explanatory. The next widget is actually from Spark. So Spark is my mail client of choice. So before we get into the widgets, the beautiful thing about Spark Mail is that it separates everything automatically for you. So if you have a actual conversation, that is a actual mail, then you have another section for kind of newsletters, and then a final section for notifications. So the people section are emails that you would probably respond to because it's from an actual person, not from like a mail merge or a mail campaign or something like that. But these are the widgets that it comes with. So it just separates them by category. You can get with a larger one, which gives you an email list. You can go with the biggest one which for an email list, but then there's even more. So you have emails and actions. You have a smaller one that gives you your calendar. One that does your calendar, but it's a little bit bigger. Then you have a calendar in this cool line view. And then the last two is basically just a combination of both the unread emails and your calendar, which is right here. So that is a Spark widget app in a nutshell. Spark itself as an application, I've done videos about them in the past. I just really like their UI, love their interface, love how it can use it on the Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS very, very easily. And it all just organizes itself very simply and I love it. So before we continue this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to Taskade for sponsoring this video. So Taskade is an online task management and collaboration tool that I've been using for a little over three months now since I found it. And the reason I gravitated towards it is because I wanted something that I could kind of work on my YouTube timeline and workflow from a filming, idea, editing perspective, and I wanted to get a solution that A, it didn't cost money, and B, that it was easy to set up. So that's the way I use it. I basically, whenever I have a YouTube idea or YouTube video idea, I jot it down as quickly as I can, whether it is from my phone application of Taskade or if I'm on my, on my computer or the iPad. And then from then on, I decide whether or not I wanna make a video about it and then move it along that timeline, whether it's filmed, edit it, thumbnail created, ready for upload, and then that final check at the end in that final box is when it, it has been uploaded for me. So that's what I use Taskade for, and it's great for collaboration as well. But check them out, first link in the description below. Thank you so much, Taskade, for sponsoring this video. So widget number four on the iPad, right? So we have, this is by Flex Widget. So Flex Widget is one of those applications that allows you to customize your widgets however you would like, right? So this is one that was kind of pre-made by the actual widget app itself. They have pre-made ones, but you can customize these as much as you want, change the color of everything, change what kind of calendar you want, change shapes, change dates, add images, <clears throat> you can add weather icons, you can add dates, text, countdown graphics, literally whatever you want to do to a widget you can do and you can add everything with real-time data, which I love about Flex Widget. So Flex Widget is one of my favorite 
customization widget. So if you want, if you have an idea for a widget and you want to start from scratch, Flex Widget is a great way to start. And again, it does come with some preloaded ones. So you can go into their inspiration page on the bottom here, and it gives you preloaded ones that other people have created. You can upload your own creations. You can create from scratch. You can create from templates that you've already created. As you guys can see, I did create a small Christmas widget back before Christmas even started, and it did count down nicely. So this is really nice if you do want to fully customize and change colors, change basically all the utility that you would want out of widgets, which is weather, time, calendars, emojis, the list goes on, guys. But that was Flex Widget. And then there's actually two more that I'm gonna throw in here. So if you guys stay to the end, you're getting an extra widget. Instead of the top five, you're getting a top six. So this one is actually very, very simple. It's an authenticator widget. And you can see that in real time, it's gonna change from one number into another one every 30 seconds for that dual factor authentication. Now I have this one showing for LinkedIn, but if I go in here, you can see that there's other ones added on here. So I'm gonna get out of that. And then you can also customize exactly which one you wanna show. So you can edit the widget, if you want to choose a different one, like I want to show the Facebook one and I want to show this one, go back up and then all three of them will show up right there. And again, this widget is also available on iOS and it works great. I use them on both of my devices. Authenticator app is beautiful. There's a free version of it and then there is like I think a one or two dollar paid version of it, which gives you like syncing across your devices. I paid for it because I think it was worth it to sync between all my devices just to have these dual factor authentication codes up at a glance. And then the final widget has to be usage. And if you've been following me for a while, usage has been on my iPad for probably a year now at this point, and it's gotten better over time. So you can see that there's a little bit of a difference here, right? So these three widgets down here, these are all from usage. The top two are for iPadOS 14, and then the bottom one is a legacy one that they kept around that works with iPadOS 13 and higher. So this gives you, the bottom one gives you real-time data of the Wi-Fi coming in and out, cellular data coming in and out, and then I have my memory widget and then my storage widget. So you can see that most of my memory is being used right now, probably because I'm screen recording, and then I have more than half of my storage available because I actually just cleaned out a lot of the data on my iPad. So that is the usage widget, and if we go into the actual application, there's a lot more widgets that you can choose from. So all of these different ones are widgets that you can throw in at any time that you would want to. So, and, and they have an also a customization feature where you can create your own widgets depending on what statistics you want on there. So it's a beautiful thing to have, and you can change the color of the app icon and everything to match the style of what you're going with. So those are my top six widgets that I have for iPadOS 14 and higher, and let's get out of this view and go to normal view. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Like I mentioned, most of my widgets are more utility than anything else, just to get information at a glance, especially with the authenticator widget. That's always really good for cutting down time with going into my phone, into a different app, and things like that whenever I need to do two-factor authentication. But overall, those are the widgets that are staples as of right now. Most of them have been there for a really long time. The newest one has to be Flex Widget, and I've been liking that one a lot too if I ever wanna get kind of creative and customize a little bit more. But those are my top five widgets. Let me know in the comments below exactly what widgets you guys can't live without, what's your most used widget, and why everybody uses those widgets, right? Because I'm just curious to know and I'm always happy to look at new ideas. I'm always looking for the next cool widget to show off in one of these videos. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, thank you to Taskate for sponsoring the video. Peace.